You can visit their website. Astronauts in orbit right now. They're headed to the International Space Station and traveling inside a Boeing capsule launched by a rocket made in Decatur for the first time. News 19's Ben Hoover has more on the space launch. Ben. Yeah, Greg, can you imagine the views these guys are going to have? Decatur's Mayor Tab Bowling said the city is changing the world after the long-awaited launch that faced multiple delays. The astronauts on board, retired Navy Captains Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams, will reach the ISS in about 20 hours from now. This historic trip is a first for Boeing, which NASA hired along with SpaceX to ferry astronauts. SpaceX successfully launched astronauts into orbit about four years ago. The U.S. government paid Boeing more than $4 billion for the Starliner, and getting the project off the ground has been difficult to say the least, with today's launch being years behind schedule and over budget. But NASA Administrator Bill Nelson says that they will always make sure a launch is right before they lift off. I want to give my personal congratulations to the whole team that went through a, a lot of trial and tribulation, but they had perseverance. And that's what we do at NASA. We don't launch until it's right. So with today's launch, two private companies have now achieved what only three countries, Russia, the U.S. and China, have managed to do, and that's take people to space. If this mission goes well, NASA plans to alternate between SpaceX and Boeing for the ta to fa uh, taxi flights, that is, to take astronauts up to the ISS, and that should start sometime next year, Greg. All right, thank you, Ben.